hey y'all welcome to my channel thanks for joining me for another video I wanted to do a garden update these are my cabbages that I have in pots I don't have anything in the ground because I haven't figured out the yard over here yet these right here don't have little, um, large heads because they've been getting too much sunlight so since it's my first time growing these I'm just gonna let them grow out and see what happens and there's some squash in here as well there's some pecan trees back there in that little grow bag. Those are ones from the tree that just dropped. I got that little hanging turtle from Wanda and Wendy Sweets. And this is my blackberry bush. You can see that it's flowering. It's my first time growing that as well. Here are some beans that I have growing in bags in that little container. And then these right here are things that I didn't put under the grow light because I wanted to see how they would grow outside. These are um, kale. There's some lettuce. Um, another thing of kale. There's actually like three things of kale, I think, down there. There's some peppers. And like I said, these have all been kept outside. There's some more lettuce. There's some cucumbers and then some rosemary. I'm going to take you up here to the other side of the yard, but I wanted to share, this is the fence to my neighbor's yard, and she has beehives. You can see one right there, and then there's another one there in the back. She has elderberry bushes, there's a peach tree and a couple apple trees. And then these branches, I've been cutting them down, but I, I kind of stopped cutting them down because I've learned that they're scuffadimes and also wild blackberries growing back here. I don't know if the people that previously owned the house had a garden, but there's traces of like, if you see that right there, that's from a trellis, and it goes all the way up this end of the gate. So I'm gonna take you up to the other side of the yard. I did start like a compost back here with like just um, vegetable fruit type um, things. And then up on this side of the yard, right here I have some more of the squash. There's some lettuce and watermelon. And there's holes in those because the squirrels around here are notorious and they keep digging in my stuff. I also have some tomato and carrots in those little cups. And then over here, I have some more squash and some more tomato plants. The little solo cups, I brought them out early. I didn't do row lights with those because I wanted to see how they did outside. And these pots right here, I'm probably not gonna grow in this year. I did tomatoes in those last year, but I'm probably gonna go and get some of the food um, pails from Lowe's, the white ones, and use those for my tomatoes this year once these get a little larger. Let me go across this little gate and show you my apple tree. So here is my apple tree. It's starting to bloom. My neighbor also has chickens. Let me show you my pear tree up here on the other side of the yard. So here is the pear tree. So pretty, it had flowers on it a couple days ago, but they've all gone. I didn't show you the pecan tree because it doesn't have any leaves or anything on it. And like there are traces of like, like there was a garden back over here and there's things growing. So I'm gonna just let them grow and see what they are. And then I'll start working on this side of the yard. So I forgot to show these uh, white potatoes and elephant ears that popped up. I didn't plant those. Those were planted in there last year by my daughter. And they came back up in this pot right here. This is just on the back side of the house. That is my garden update for now. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.